Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another random movie hunting video for you guys today. I was sitting at home here on a Saturday afternoon going, I want to get out for a little bit. Let's hit a couple of thrift stores, random kind of maybe movie places. I don't know, places may be starting to close because it's about 4 o'clock. Uh, in the afternoon right now on a Saturday afternoon and uh, I decided to go to the biggest Goodwill uh, in my area right here first so uh, let's go in here and uh, see if they have anything new because I haven't been into this Goodwill and I would say four or five months uh, I'm hoping to find you know something kind of cool because you guys know I have a lot of stuff in my collection and I have almost everything I already pretty much want in my collection but let's go into some of these new some of these places today and uh, see if I can find anything new to add uh, to the craziness which is my DVD and blu-ray collection so let's go but like I said everyone this is the biggest goodwill uh, in my area so let's head on in here and see if they have anything cool well everyone I'm now inside the goodwill the biggest one out here and check out this movie section that they have it's a bit bigger uh than the normal uh you know goodwill that i go to and uh, it's just you know from here to here of uh, just like dvds and stuff they it used to go all the way over to the end but they added like board games and stuff to it but let's see if we can find anything cool in here mama's <laughs> mom wants her body back uh dvds okay okay sorry mama Sorry, Mama. Mom wants her body back. Yes, they don't have any of those in their, uh, you know, <laughs> collections. I sure as hell don't and don't really feel the need to. But uh, that's, you know, I'm, I'm going to look through here, see if I find anything, you know, cool or out of print or, you know, something maybe from my childhood that I don't have. They do have a lot of these here. I don't, these are like maybe VHSs of some. Let me see here. I got to open this up. Oh, no, DVDs. These are DVD sets. I don't even know what they, what you know, what shows or movies these are, but they have like a whole bunch of these, like uh, foreign uh, films here, and <laughs> you open it up in the cases, and they have like you know little, like little like in little sleeves here, and like a big VHS clamshell. Yeah, but so far I'm I'm missing a lot of DVDs of things. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, Blu-rays uh, whatsoever. This one right here is a movie I've always loved. Uh, when I was, ever since I was growing up and came across it back in about the mid 90s or something. Uh, Mr. Destiny here with uh, James Belushi and Michael Caine. But like I said, I'm not really coming across a lot of like, you know, Blu-rays in here so far or anything, but eh, hopefully we find something. Great, great movie from my childhood right here. The Little Rascals, baby. Hell yeah, I got a dollar, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. And just came across this right here, the Jay and Silent Bob uh, Strike Back DVD, the old Dimension uh, Collector Series one. Uh, I believe the same day I'm filming this, or a day, a day or so before, uh, Kevin Smith just finished filming Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, which is a sequel to this film, which I'm dying to see, man. He has, looks like Kevin Smith has got a lot of the same... Uh, you know, people that starred in his movies in the past, and a lot of them from this film are coming back for the new uh, Jay and Silent Bob reboot movie. Can't wait to see that one, dude. I'm, I've been the biggest Kevin Smith fan, fan for a while, but can't wait to see what he does uh, with the new one. Man, it's hard to come across something that I need to pick up that I don't already have in my collection already. You know, like, there's a lot of stuff that's here that I could get, but I'm just, like, have really no interest in, you know, like per Percy Jackson or like the Alvin and the Chipmunks like I don't really need that stuff you know what I mean but like I'm it's really hard these days to, to come across something that you know I really am like dying to get that I you know what I mean that I don't have you know what I mean but it's it's hard man it's hard to sometimes for at least person that's been in the game you know collecting blu-rays and dvds since I was like a kid you know what I mean starting with VHS of course but now it's just harder than normal well at my next destination of the day the 99 cent store I could have sworn I heard Danny in a recent video or post on like Instagram or somewhere that last time he was at a 99 cent store he came across like a little bin of like DVDs and blu-rays I could be mistaken though but let's head on into this 99 cent store and see if they have any movies in here in the 99 cent store right now and there is a little bin of uh, blu-rays and DVDs for 199 Hey, it's a 99 cent store, man. 199? Come on, bruh. Bruh. 
But let's see what they have in here. I knew I knew I was right when I re remembered a post Danny or, or somebody made. I think it was the Sinistalker. So like I'm gonna look through here and see if there's anything. Oh, I already have this Blu-ray. But uh, th this one was actually cool. If you guys have never seen Bulletproof Monk, dude, you get you know of course uh, Sean William Scott from the American Pie films and Chow Young Fat in there. Uh, not not a great great movie, but still enjoyable uh, nonetheless. Look like they have a handful of copies of. Uh, Bulletproof Monk in here. There's like more copies of Bulletproof Monk than like anything it looks like, uh, at least in here so far. You know, it's just like, it's just randomness. I know it's nothing to be super amazing uh, in here, but I just kind of wanted to see for myself, you know, what, what the, the 99 cent store will have the best of where in the world is Carmen San Diego. The best of. I remember watching the show, and I believe, th isn't it? Isn't there like a live action show of this now on Netflix? You know, uh, starring Gen Gina Rodriguez from you know, Jane the Virgin and things. Is that on Netflix now? The, the new Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Because I don't watch, I don't really watch a whole lot of Netflix, but I think there is a live action show of this. Let me know down below. Is it on Netflix right now? But let's see what else is, you know, up in this little like dump in of like what, what the hellness. Some of the stuff is just like, you know, people throwing their things in here, but. Hopefully we can come across something cool. You want an unauthorized documentary of uh, Beyonce? Eh, I'll pass on that one. November Man. Okay, but I think I seen I think I seen this one at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they're in their sales and things. But uh, yep, another bulletproof monk. Yeah, not a whole lot to to go and pick from. Just got out of the 99 cent store. Didn't really find anything uh, really worth getting up in there today. But hey, I'm just out enjoying my day so far. Just messing around on a Saturday afternoon. All right, guys, the next shop of the day I'm going into is uh, Video Depot, which is the only family-run video store that I know out here in Newhall, California. And they have like other side businesses they do now because video stores these days can't you know, sustain themselves just on, you know, renting DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. Uh, this place is like, has multiple different businesses going on. Like, a, like I believe a public notary. You can also buy stamps uh, in here. You can get, you know, uh, gift certificates, like gift cards and different things for this place. Uh, like I said, you can buy stamps up in here. Even have an old school rental, you know, drop box. Like if they're closed and you want to, you know, return your movie after they're, you know, you know, clothes for the day. And you can also get, you know, passport photos uh, available here if you guys want to do all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's head on in there and to see if they have anything cool. You know what I mean? They have a small, I believe they have a small section of stuff for sale and a, a big wall of stuff that is just rentals things. But let's head on in and see what they have going on. Well guys, I'm in a Video Depot right now. One of the, you know, the last standing family video stores uh, that's out here in Newhall, California. This is like stepping into, you know, stepping into the 80s right here. You know, because I grew up going to video stores and, you know, working in Blockbuster videos back in the, you know, back, back in the day, at least for like seven, eight years of my, um, you know, of, uh, you know, being old enough to work and everything. First I worked at an AMC movie theater, then at McDonald's, and then at Blockbuster for seven, seven, almost eight years before, you know, they went, they went, you know, went under and things, but we're gonna walk around uh, this cool uh, family video store, which they gave me the permission to film in, which is cool, and, uh, you know, see what kind of cool stuff that they have, what they have on sale, because most of the stuff they have here, like in the sections here, are all for rent. So if you guys want to come to Newhall, California, uh, to, you know, Video Depot, I have all the info down below, uh, to like their Instagrams and Facebook. Uh, the store actually has that, and they're, they're trying to, you know, keep the, keep the video store alive. So even if you don't live in the, live in the area of Newhall, California, uh, follow them on there and show them some show, you know, independent video store some love and say hey I saw you in his video, you know, I saw your store in his video So let's walk around and see what they have here. They even have some, you know, old-school uh, VHS in here some old, you know, of course double uh, double VHS sets some old-school clamshells in here old school, like Richie Rich as another one I grew up watching and you know as a kid old-school Macaulay Culkin and of course, Gold Diggers, The Secret of Bear Mountain. I don't know, that was probably the only person to see this movie in theaters. Uh, like, what, two times? Like, every time I saw it, I remember no one was even in the theater uh, it, with me to see it. But they have a handful. I believe these ones are all, you know, for rent. But they do have, like, you know, the v some of the VHSs, I believe, are for sale. Like, the ones that you see underneath, 
like the the on the floor over here if you come into the store you can you know uh buy them anywhere between a dollar and like five i believe and guys as i'm walking through this video store of course they have like dvds and you know rows over here but like right here on this little end cap they have this like some like vhs's just chilling right here it's just you know it is kind of random how they have them but they it's still cool that it's out and about and you know people can like grab them and go if they want this right here then you swing it on over here to the bottom and there's even more vhs tapes down here of like one of my favorite action movies uh, of the 90s con air you get down here along with the original vhs of the jerk an original vhs of a uh, star wars that's pretty damn cool you know like i i already have like the dvds and the blu-rays but this artwork right here is classic man like you don't get this kind of artwork these days when it comes to you know dvds and blu-rays and things unless unless you're getting something from like you know scream factory but like the artwork from back in the 80s you know when vhs's were like the thing this is this is where it's at man they have that down here along with you know some other stuff like bill and ted's uh, excellent adventure VHS tape uh, down here at the bottom all sorts of stuff you can find uh, in this place like I said link will be uh, down below to their social media if you guys want to you know find out even more info I'll probably have their address down below too if you guys want to you know show them show them some love they even have this old uh, section here of like posters you know where you can like buy or get get from them like there's like I believe that's a venom one down there you know that they use for promotional purposes and things but man i just love you know perusing an old school video store uh you know like this because this is this is my love this is my passion you know what i mean and you don't see stuff like this you know that often anymore we got an old star trek you know vhs uh, collection here on top you know next to like a little this thing right here where you can get some stickers of like you know just different <laughs> different things and of course you know little bouncy balls but let's go you know through some of maybe some of the horror section here and see if they have anything you know cool rare maybe out of print you know because who knows you know what you're going to find in here yeah and that one i saw right here is an old george romero movie that i don't even think i have on dvd and that is a special edition of martin uh, the director's cut how often do you see this thing out in the wild not not at a whole lot of places uh if you if you know what i mean but this is this one i definitely want would love to get up on maybe she'll sell it who knows but i don't know what the condition would be but like it's just cool that the 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 owner of the store gave me the permission to you know walk around here to get a you know a short little uh you know clip in here talking about the video store because i just love this stuff that's pretty cool guys check that out an old school jurassic park like video store you know like promo piece that they still have up here from like way back in the day that's that that'd be killer to have in my collection though man how cool would that be but it's kind of big you know i mean i wouldn't know where to put it in my collection but that thing is cool as hell when's the last time you guys walked through a video store that looked like this you know what i mean like come on now you don't you don't get stuff like this uh, that much these days, you know, and it's just a, a pleasure to walk through because this is this is like my childhood man You know what I mean? Like walking through video stores like this is what I did On a regular on the weekends, you know when I was a kid growing up going hmm, mom Could I get this hmm, mom? Could I get that? It's 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 pretty cool that places like this are still around You know and guys check out some of the other stuff that they have in here. They have the sleepover party massacre 3 and the sleepover part, you know, sleepover massacre part two up in the house. Maybe this, the first one might be rented out, but now these are some retro stuff that I definitely don't see that often in places like this. So that's kind of cool in the rental section. But man, how cool was that? Getting to reminisce and walk around an old school family video store, man. But it was just really, really cool to, you know, reminisce and see the, you know, the cool stuff that they have up in there. So check out their social media stuff in the description box. I'll have their address also. Really, really cool, kind people, man. Well, everyone, just got back home from my little outing adventure. As you guys can tell, so I didn't find anything, uh, you know, to pick up over at the places I was at today because I pretty much have almost everything like in, uh, you know, uh, Video Video Depot today. But there's a couple little, you know, horror movies in their, in their section that they had for rent and stuff that, you know, they couldn't sell because they only have, you know, one copy of. But I was just kind of like, oh, I'll, I'll get to those one day, like a movie called Mommy, a horror movie. And another, the other one was, um, 
Martin, uh, which looked like a, a, a really cool, you know, like George Romero flick that I think I've seen once a long, long time ago. But then I, I, I was getting, when I was getting back home, the Olote man uh, was out there. So I, you know, I got to pick up a little, you know, corn on the cob here, Olote, you know, corn man style. So I'm going to be, you know, chowing down on this in just a moment. But also a day or two ago, um, I got a package in the mail from Mill Creek Home Entertainment, and I just want to, you know, showcase to you, these ones to you guys. I, I didn't get a chance to watch these at all or anything, but uh, I got these ones in the mail from them. And this one here is a Blu-ray digital copy uh, pack of a movie. It looks like a like an '80s cheese fest from 1985, and it's a film called Malibu Express. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen or heard of this film before, <laughs> to be honest. But it looks real cheesy and and fun like a like a dude in a race car in the back right there and it comes with uh an introduction by the director audio commentary and some behind the scenes uh for you guys out there that know you know what what this film is i'm sure i'll get a chance to watch this one sooner or later but i just want to show you guys this i got that from mill creek and another these other they, these next two were two of their newer uh mill creek's uh you know blu-ray uh, releases that have the retro VHS slip covers to them, and that is uh, the first one right here is uh, you know, Tina Roberts in Sheena. Uh, this is like another film I believe from the yeah, 1984, that, which I've never seen before. Like I said, has that retro, you know, VHS, you know, slip cover look to it, and everything. And lo looks like it could be kind of like a fun cheese fest with like a a, a cute, uh, you know, hot blonde lady on there with a with, you know with a tiger, just like you know getting all crazy like. I've never seen this before. Let me know down below. Do you guys think I'll get? A, you guys think I I might enjoy this one? Just want to let you guys all know, Mill Creek has that out now. And the other one that they sent over uh, stars Chris Christopherson and Willie Nelson, and it's a movie called Songwriter. And uh, this one also has like that cool, like I said, retro uh, you know VHS slipcover with you know, like rated R stickers and drama stickers on it, like that, like Be Kind Rewind kind of thing going on on there. This is another film. Uh, I've never seen before, but it's cool that Mill Creek's put that out on their, you know, retro VHS slipcover line. And speaking of Mill Creek and their, uh, you know, the, the retro slipcovers that they're doing, uh, they're putting out some more, like, you know, uh, 90s, uh, mid-90s mid, mid comedies in, the, in, in their next batch of stuff that they're coming out with. And, like, uh, the, a movie I, I always loved... Uh, this one right here, hold on. This one right here is getting a Blu-ray release uh, from Mill Creek in the next few months. And that is High School High, uh, you know, with John Lovitz. This is, of course, the uh, Dangerous Minds, you know, rip-off, you know, rip-off spoof kind of film. Finally getting a Blu-ray release. I believe it's going to be in, like, a double pack with some, uh, with another film. But another movie that's uh, that's going to be coming out to Blu-ray solo, you know, by itself is, um, you know, with, you know, with a with a retro co retro 90s cover to it is a uh, jury duty so this is going to be the second uh this is the second uh you know a poly short film that's going to be hitting blu-ray the first one being uh biodome that came out on blu-ray but now mill creek is going to be putting out uh, jury duty out on blu-ray and i can't wait you know to check those ones out but this is all the stuff i just wanted to showcase to you guys that mill creek sent over for me to you know talk about to you you know for you guys letting you to let you guys know that they're out now you know on blu-ray but i really do appreciate you guys stopping by watching my videos hopefully you guys got a little little bit of nostalgia uh while watching this one today give this one a thumbs up if you did also drop a comment down below uh letting me know what you know your the name of your favorite video store was uh growing up as a kid that you loved going into every week to check out the latest releases and things like that uh mine was video 94 uh, back in the day, of course, Hollywood Video and Blockbuster were were some of the mainstays. But for like video stores that not that many people knew about, uh, it was a place called Video Ninety Four. It was kind of like the place I was in today, Video Depot. But, you know, kind of like a, you know, it's a family run kind of sort of place that you know always had like friendly a friendly environment with the workers, and you know we always had like a rapport with one another, and it was just a, a really fun uh, you know pl pl place to go to. And uh, that was my that was like my jam during like my junior high school uh, elementary school days, and you know until they until they shut down and stuff. But let me know what your favorite uh, you know video store was you know growing up as a kid in the comments down below, and give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys all on the next adventure. Bye bye.